hey guys, after a long time, I'm back with another aesthetic DIY, and for this, you need your laptop. Come out, please. And guys, don't forget to give a big thumbs up for this video. This buddy is taking a lot of time to open. Sorry for the location change, but it's needed. And on your search bar, search for aesthetic butterflies. It's actually your wish if you want some sunflowers or some books. But I want like some butterflies, so yeah. butterflies so I'm gonna take a print of it and guys another note if not a printout please use the papers from your old books and then a box which is transparent and got this cute little guys and a synthetic gum um I mean, a transparent one, which doesn't show that you've applied a glue. Then, oh my god, there you go. Stick all the butterflies to the top and then, boom. I love the output a lot. It looks so cute and aesthetic too. And it's your wish, as said before, you can even use some sunflowers. Just like other YouTubers, I've tried of taking a shot in the sky so that it look aesthetic, but no, I've failed in it completely. It doesn't work. And now, let's come into the craft too. Use some coconut oil and I just forgot to mention that you should even add some olive oil if you want. But if not, it's yours. That's the reason why it is yellow. Don't ask me why. And then... Keep it in the freezer and leave it for overnight over there. Bye bye. Bam. Need you tomorrow, buddy. And then the next day, I've taken out my frozen mixture. I mean, oil. And then three bowls, a fork, salt, oops, a glass container, and three colors. Actually, it's for that ombre effect. Break the frozen coconut and olive oil into small, small pieces so that, you know, it is not a big issue to mix it with the salt. Pour some salt into the glass container and just to know how much salt we need for the container. After that, you're going to pour it out actually. And now as it is filled, now put into the three bowls equally. Now add the frozen coconut and olive oil and then mix. The reason why we add this frozen one is, yeah, the result is that salt becomes a bit like moldy. And we do want the texture because we don't want our salt to off easily and destroy our ombre effect. I've taken pink, blue and violet and add them in three bowls of salt. Then mix, mix, mix. And yeah, done. I've used pink, blue, violet. You can use orange, yellow, red. Whichever gives you the ombre effect, you can use that. And now I'm gonna fill it like violet, blue and pink. I don't know about you people, but the violet one looks like cake crumbs. It was seriously a very big task to pour all the salt into the container with just a spoon. So I've just used a paper, I made it into a cone and then kept it inside and boom, pouring all the salt in it. I'm making layers so we don't want it like ocean waves but we want it like a straight line so I'm making it straight with a marker
plan for the next DIY you will need an air dry clay it's actually made by me it's a DIY air dry clay if you want to know how please do comment below now roll it but not too thin I have taken a diamond shape if you want a heart or if you want something other shape yeah carry on with it the one thing which is difficult in this video is not shooting it but shooting it with one hand makes it more difficult back to the part I've already outlined it with a blue air dry clay and then took a hook and poke it into the clay so this is the output as a keychain and then my air dry clay is made with cornstarch and glue it will not take a lot of time to dry the time it dries, I'm going to use it as my keychain. 